Ahoy Captains of Naval Action! In this video I will be showing you how to win a boarding engagement using three different battles as an example. Two that went well and one that went badly. The key to winning at boarding is to be prepared ahead of time and getting into board engage engagements on your own terms. If you intend to board and capture an enemy you need marines unless of course you have a crew that vastly outnumbers your target. Marines are a book that goes into one of your ship's knowledge slots and you can get 5, 10, or 15 percent of your crew turned into marines. In battle, you should always avoid being grappled and forced to defend in a boarding action because when you're defending, your chances of survival are very slim. You avoid being grappled by maintaining speed or distance from your opponent. Also, the AI will not try to grapple you if your crew outnumber, outnumbers his. In this engagement, I am in a snow taking on a Niagara, but before attempting to board, I need to reduce his crew, which outnumbers my crew by about 155 to 129. Never attempt boarding when you're outnumbered. In this case, my snow is loaded out with carronades, which are effective at killing crew. Once I have reduced one of the sides down to 50% with ball ammunition, I switch to grape shop to further reduce the crew. Once I have reduced the crew, I prepare for boarding by pressing the 9 key. This takes crew away from guns and sailing and assembles boarding parties. When preparation reaches 50, I'm ready to board. To grapple the enemy, you need to be close by with your speed down to less than 3, less than 3 3.5 knots. This can be very challenging and maybe the subject of another video. Once you have successfully grappled the enemy, the boarding action begins. Boarding is essentially a game of rock, paper, scissors and if you can anticipate the next enemy command, you can win. The two most important commands are attack and fire deck guns because they can generate a large number of kills which in turn reduces the morale of the enemy. When morale is reduced to zero, an attack automatically wins the battle. To keep this simple, focus on these five things. Number one, attack when the enemy is bracing. Number two, Never attack when the enemy is defending. Number three, defend when the enemy is attacking. Number four, fire deck guns as much as possible every fourth round. Number four, brace when the enemy is firing deck guns. You can experiment with fire muskets and grenades in between these commands but they are less effective unless you have mods for them. To win, you have to correctly anticipate what the next enemy command is. To do that, you need to watch these three things. Preparation, firepower, and melee. You are looking for a change in these three things during the countdown, which tells you what is happening next. If firepower is zero and melee, melee is a smaller number, the enemy is defending. Do not attack. If firepower is zero and melee is a bigger number, the enemy is attacking. You must defend. If you see preparation go down and firepower is a smaller number, the enemy is firing grenades or muskets. If you see preparation go down and firepower is a bigger number, the enemy is firing death guns, you should, you should brace. If you do not see preparation change and melee is zero, the enemy is bracing, you should attack. Now I'll show you how this works in practice. Okay, this is the battle with the Niagara. I'm in my snow. The I have 116 crew and I've reduced them down to 90. I've got 11 marines versus their zero marines, which is good. And I got 40 muskets versus their 10 muskets, which is good. So starting out, often I look for probably what's going to be happening is fire deck guns. That's usually their, their, their first 
yep, that's what it was. And I brace against the deck guns. Now I just saw the preparation go down and firepower is at one. That indicates to me that this is probably fire grenades and I'm gonna just fire deck guns into them. And that had a good result. Fire deck guns, 11 kills, fire grenades, one kill. Now he may still, he may be on brace now. He's preparation 52, firepower one, so I'm gonna go for an attack. It looks like a brace. Attack into the brace, exactly what happened. And the 20 kills versus uh, two kills on his end. Now, melee is five, that indicates he's in defend. And what I decide to do is to brace through this defend uh, to get some preparation. I need to keep my preparation up. Without preparation, you'll find, when your preparation is low, you'll find sometimes buttons will gray out and you won't be able to do what you want to do. And what did I do next? I just decided to brace for a second time, getting my preparation up. Here I'm going for an attack. Oop, fire, uh, prep rate went down, firepower is one. This is gonna be grenades, and so I fired deck guns into the grenades to good effect. 10 kills versus their one. Now I'm prepping for a defend. You, not, not, yeah, no, fire deck guns. Now I'm looking for the attack. <laughs> and my button grayed out. I think that was because of my preparation problem, so I stayed at brace. Preparation is 78, firepower is one. This looks like another brace, I want to attack. Waiting for the last minute to press the button. That's another thing, oh, good attack. The attack into his brace was 16 kills to his two, and I won the battle. You want to wait till the last second to, to enter your command because their command could change. They could indicate one thing at the beginning of the countdown and then switch it before the end. So you're, it's always a good idea to wait until the last one or two seconds before entering your command in case they change at the last few seconds. So in this battle, this is one that didn't go well. This is uh, this my snow against another snow. My crew is 125, theirs is 115. We, it's, it's a very small margin, but worse still, I forgot to put my books on. And so you see I have zero Marines against 23 Marines. This is not good. 26 muskets against 51 muskets. Again, not good. And in this one, the opening attack was a fire grenades. It wasn't, wasn't uh, fire deck guns. And I see it melee. What I saw, I noticed that there was a melee that was up there and that indicated an attack. And so I switched to defend. And so that was a good move. 10, 10 kills for me, 8 kills for him. That's a good defend. Firepower is up. It looks like a deck guns. No, it was musket volley. But uh, Brace was okay. He killed two. I only got one. Again, this is preparation 68, firepower 6. I'm expecting a, a deck guns at this time. Yep, there it is. Now I'm watching 62 prep, firepower 1. I want to attack when I give the opportunity. Often, nope, nope, he's, he's firing grenades or firing grenades. So I'm gonna fire Deccans into his grenades. Yeah, it's mediocre. Again, this is because I don't have Marines. Things aren't working as well. Preparation is 62, firepower is one. I'm gonna try to attack. Keep an eye on it, should get it. And that attack into his brace, very good. 10 kills to his uh, four kills, so we're even at 29 kills each. I'm looking for a defend, he's on a defend, and so I'm just gonna brace because I wanna get my preparation up. And now I'm watching, he could fire deck guns, 85, six, I'm looking for deck guns. And brace, he fired grenades. Okay, 88, one. Again, he's, he could load, yeah, I don't know what this is going to be. This could be another fire grenades. What am I going to do? I ended up bracing through this one. Again, getting my, it's a fire deck guns. His five kills, my one kill. Now I'm looking for an attack, 88-1. An attack. I'm looking, for, he's going to be bracing. Looks like a brace. I attack into his brace. I get nine kills. He gets five kills. Mediocre. 
Now this is where I make a big mistake, I believe. For some reason, he's in defend right now. And I didn't switch my attack. And so he defended, I attacked, he defended, he got 21 kills, I got I got only four. So that was a disaster. My morale went down. That was just a disaster. And then he just counterattacked into my brace and I lost. Okay, this is another one. This is my snow again. This is against the Niagara. Again, the Niagara started out with 155 crew. I only have about 129. So I had to reduce him down before I can do the boarding. I reduced him down. My crew is 126. His crew is 118. That's good. It's a pretty close fight, though. I've got 12 Marines. He's got zero Marines. Good. I got 43 muskets. He's got 12 musket muskets. Okay. So we start out. I'm basically expecting a, a fire deck guns. Usually, that's my my their what their go-to is. The prep is 43. Power power four. I'm bracing. Yep. Fire deck guns. So now he's going to do something else than fire deck guns because he only can do those. You can only do those one in four rounds. Prep just went down. Firepower is one. He's firing grenades. I'm going to fire. I braced. Usually I'd want to fire deck guns into that, but I didn't. Preparation. His preparation is 44. Firepower is one. He could be bracing. This could be a good attack. But I decide to fire deck guns. And he was bracing. I fired deck into his, his brace. He only, only got five kills. He got one kill. Now I'm looking for the attack, an attack opportunity here. 57 1 is his firepower attack. Yep, it was a brace. So I got 18 kills of his two. This is good, and that really knocked down his, his uh, morale. He's in defend. I see melee is seven, so against that defend, what am I going to do? I decided to fire grenades into his... Oh, this is interesting. He he didn't defend. It ended up a musket volley. But I got more kills. And I'm looking at my preparation is a little bit low. So I'm looking at bracing to get my preparation up. And he was firing deck guns. All right, let's take a look. 54, 1. 54 preparation, fire power 1. He could be bracing. I want to attack. Nope, he's, he's doing... He just switched. So I'm going to fire deck guns into his grenades. Effective for me, 11 kills. He only got one kill. 47, 1. Looking for a change there. If he doesn't change, he's bracing. Looks like a brace. So I'm hitting attack. Except attack grayed out. So that basically meant that I needed preparation. So hopefully I got a little bit more preparation with that brace. I'm hovering over attack, looking for another brace. And I attacked into his brace, 19 kills to his two. That worked out well. His melee is five, so he's on counter attack, or he's on defend. And so what I'm gonna do, it looks like I decided to do a musket. Nope, I'm bracing into his fire deck guns. Interesting. I wonder, I must have noticed that. Now, 56 1. Oh, my, my attack just grayed out. I decided to fire my deck guns into his grenades, get nine kills to his one. That's good. Now, I want to attack, but my prep is pretty low. Yeah, prep attack just grayed out, so I'm just going to brace. Bracing, getting my prep up. His preparation is 75, his firepower is 1. Could have tried to attack. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. Attack grayed out. Again, I guess I need more prep. Bracing again. I've got 69 prep, so attack. His firepower prep is 81. Oh, he's going to be firing grenades, but I think I'm going to go ahead and attack into those grenades. Yep. And that. That finished him off. Attack, I got 17 kills. His fire grenades got only one. So that's interesting. So, so what you want to do is, when you, whenever you get into engagement like this, you want to go through and analyze them, what worked, what, what worked and what didn't, and see what commands worked well and what commands didn't. And see if you can figure out under what conditions they were when a command worked well or a command didn't work as expected. Was preparation off? 
Were you well prepared going into it? Were you going up against a lot of Marines or no Marines? That sort of thing. It's also helpful if you can video, like I being able to video and go back and look at the video and you can see the changes that are occurring. For example, the changes in preparation that are happening just before the commands are issued. All that is very interesting. So there you go. I think you have enough there to go out there and take on the enemy in a boarding action. Ahoy, Captains of Naval Action! My name is Jim Bursch and I am the developer of NavalGaming.com and my nom de guerre in-game is Marlin Spike. Massively multiplayer, open world naval action is more fun to play with other people. I've created Naval Gaming to help new players learn the game and facilitate playing as a team in the game. Naval Gaming is a website at navalgaming.com where you can lead and participate in operations and move up the ranks as an officer of Naval Gaming. The website is highly integrated with our Discord server where players can meet each other and play together in voice communication. Also here on our YouTube channel, we're producing videos including tutorials to help new players and experienced players alike. You're invited to join us at navalgaming.com or on Discord at discord.navalgaming.com.